Dividing Polar Coordinates. This video is part four of a series. So here we're going to divide uh, polar coordinates. Uh, and it is a real quick recap. I'm going to show you how to convert, again, imaginary values into polar coordinates. So let's start with this value right here. So here we have 3 plus I4 divided by 5 plus I8. So let's start with the top. We have to get uh, the absolute value. So we're going to say 3 squared plus 4 squared, and that's going to be divided by, or that's going to be square rooted. We have to do that the same thing to the bottom portion, so we're going to call the bottom one B. We're going to say 5 squared plus 8 squared, all square rooted. Now, this A, um, if you recall, is actually, because we're trying to get it from this imaginary value into this polar coordinates, and you need to solve for A. And the way we do that is we just did this. We got the a, and we square rooted the x, and we square rooted the y, and or we squared them, and then we're going to square root them. So uh, that's the form we haven't been so far right now. And so this uh, three squared plus four squared. So three squared is nine. Four squared is sixteen. That's all going to be square rooted. So 9 plus 16, that's going to be 25, and the square root of 25 is just 5. So now we have the absolute value of, of, uh, of these two. So now let's finish off B. And here we have 5 squared, which is 25, plus 8 squared, which is 64, all square rooted. And that you might want to pump into your calculator, but you're going to get uh, about 9.4. So now, now we have uh, uh, the absolute value, or the modulus, and now we need to get the angle. So to get the angle, we're going to use uh, the inverse tangent of y over x, or the imaginary value over the real value. So that is just going to be equal to, so the first one, so we're going to say, uh, it's going to have 4 over 3, so you're going to have 4 over 3 and for that one you're going to get uh, about 53.13 degrees now let's do the one on the bottom so actually I'm going to call this theta of A and this bottom one I'm going to call it theta of B so just to keep track of them a little bit better so here we're going to get the imaginary value first the 8 over the real value of 5 so that's 8 over 5 and so that's going to approximately be 58 degrees. Now sometimes with these you want to be careful, and I mentioned it in the previous video that just to make sure that you have like the right degree, or in the you're in the right uh, zone. So for this one, we're going to the the imaginary value is a positive eight, so that'd be up this over here, and the real value is five. So let's just say it's about here. So you know this angle here. That's you know that's about 50 degrees, 45 degrees roughly. So that's that's all right. Um, that that looks correct. So now let's continue on. So now we just have to write them out. So the first one. So we have this value here, and I'm just going to copy it so I don't have to rewrite it. Okay, so now we just rerun and write this because this is the one we're trying to convert into um, into polar coordinates. So now this is going to be equal to a over theta of a, all divided by b over theta of b. Now a, as we said before, is five. So this is going to be equal to five with an angle of 53.13 degrees. The one on the bottom, uh, which was B, which is this one, 9.4. So we're going to get 9.4 with an angle of 58 degrees. So now, now we can divide. Ah, uh, but you're probably looking at this thing, ah, oh, it's kind of kooky. I mean, how do you, how do you divide angles? Well, uh, you don't. This is what you actually do. So we're gonna first thing we're gonna only deal with this part right here, the nine 
or the 5 over the 9.4. And really with that, all you're going to do is you really are just going to divide that. So you do 5 divided by 9.4. When you do that, you're going to get, oh, let's, let's see, 5 divided by 9.4. That's going to be equal to 0 0.53, about. And now we're going to deal with the angles. So the way you deal with these angles is actually, you're going to take the first portion right here, this uh, theta of alpha, or theta alpha, and you're going to subtract it by the angle underneath, which is uh, theta b. So, and then we're just going to take these values and plug them in. So, this angle is going to be 53.13 degrees minus about 58 degrees. And that's going to give you about negative 4.87 degrees. And now we're just going to finish off by rewriting it. So let me copy this guy again. I'm just copying it because I don't want to rewrite it all over again. You don't have to. So let's put that there. So this angle, or I mean this uh, this quantity, this is 3 plus 4i divided by 5 plus um, i8, is the same thing as if you wanted to write this as... Uh, 5 with an angle of 53.13 degrees divided by 9.4 with an angle of 58 degrees which that is the same thing as saying um, 0.53 with an angle of negative 4.87 degrees so that is how you would convert from uh, an imaginary imaginary values into polar values, and this is how you would divide the polar quantities uh, to simplify it. And you actually end up doing this quite a bit in uh, in a few circuits classes. So it's it's good to know, and it's a good and actually when you get into circuits classes, this is I think kind of an easy or a much quicker quicker way to do some of the problems. So it's something good to know and to remember. So. Anyhow, I hope this really helped you, and uh, good luck in your classes.